I made a commitment uh, immediately after I got the gavel that we would start releasing that. Originally, we were trying to blur some of the faces to protect the innocent, you know, people who were just there and just happened to be walking through the building. Uh, but but then we realized a lot of this is out there in the in the public anyway. And so, yeah, we're releasing America as fast as we possibly can. We had to hire new staff to do it. They're uploading it. It's a 24 hour operation. And uh, all that all that tape will be out there uh, as soon as possible. But 13,000 hours are available yeah, to now. Yeah. Yes, you, you can send me a couple thousand hours. I'll work through it with you if you, <laughs> if you sure, need, sure, I'll need, do that. A, need a little extra help. Nothing says MAGA like Speaker of the House labeling criminals on January 6th as some people just walking through. Well, they violently trespassed on the U.S. Capitol in hopes of killing enough elected officials to stop the peaceful transfer of power in our democracy. So maybe the conservative host will also help him edit some footage into some nice bite-sized propaganda pieces for his followers to enjoy. All they have to do is cut out all the parts where they were attacking in the name of Donald Trump. We need it to to our priority. Station. We just had protests. Peace circle. Preach the line. We need backup. My kids didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. U.S. demands the truth. I need public support. Just walking through, seeing the sights, taking a couple of photos to share with their family back home, right? I mean, the reason that dishonest Mike Johnson keeps promoting Trump's lie is because it works really well for the criminals that they're continuing to use for their own power grab. Your narrative, your narrative is an extremely narrow one. You can say that my narrative is narrow, but your whole narrative is built off of 30 minutes that Tucker Carlson released, the people being arrested. Oh, my narrative is my, built my on the 30,000 hours of footage. My narrative is built on what I saw there personally. Go your ahead. narrative is even weaker than mine because you have oh. one view from on the ground. I have hundreds of hours, thousands of hours of footage that I've gone through and watched. Hey, yeah. Ask yourself this question. They're saying that there are seven, eight hundred people in there. Yeah. Do they get in there through a broken window or do they get through in there through an open door? Through charging. Can I show you a video real quick? Yeah. Well, most of those people got in there through an open door. Like Capitol Police did absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this video right here is of the east side of the Capitol on January 6th. That's a line of cops right there being broken through. And they're basically all screwed. That's a lot of people, right? And then they're all storming, breaking through this line of cops. The cops are all down and out now. And then you see them start to flood. Okay, they had the fence there to put up the Capitol weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. They never put it up. It's really easy to lie and change your lies when your audience is willing to suspend reality, even after they see it, to protect their objective of complete fealty to Trump. So when your entire political belief system is to reject democracy and replace it with fascism, you have to practice ignoring the truth while waiting for the alternative facts that the king provides to give it to you. He gets a lot from help from political allies like Speaker Johnson, but there was no violent takeover without the endless supply of bodies willing to sacrifice themselves for his objectives. So while some die and others end up in prison, they have to be honored like fallen soldiers so that more will be inspired to lay down their own lives as the plans for more violence come together. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. A chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. U.S. demands the truth. <laughs> 